Yes, and now well, and you know, we, we kind of go through that every, every week because we're still in the process of, of, of mending and, and getting people, you know, back in the lineup, getting people ready to be backups on floor um, so we can pull some people out and put some people in. And we really want to do that in Tucson is be able to make a few substitutions. So, you know, time will tell. We'll have an inner squad on uh, Wednesday. So time will tell if we can do that. But uh, we're not, there's not a lot of emphasis on this, the, this Tucson meet, except for it's another opportunity for us to, to go out in front of judges and, and work on our consistency. When you get this uh, far into the season, is there any concern when it comes to, like, tinkering with the lineup, or do you kind of want to keep it steady? We try not to, to change the lineup at this point. You know, we're um, get Bridget back in on bars. You know, that might make a little bit of a difference. She's got some really sore forearms right now. But... Um, you know, that's, that's really kind of the place that, that we've got a question mark. Getting Lexi on, on vaulting, Juliana getting her back on vaulting, that's the, the, the depth and the things that we need to see happen. But uh, we're really excited about where we are and the quality of the performance and uh, the mental toughness. I think Kennedy really displayed a lot of mental toughness this, in this particular meet. She followed two routines. Um, beam and bars where um, she had a break in front of her and she went out and did her her very best got the best score she could possibly get and then goes to floor and gets a 10 and creates the momentum for the end of the lineup so you know that's the kind of stuff you want to see happen right now as you are getting ready for SECs because that's a very emotional meet with a lot of energy and uh, we want to kind of pace ourselves getting into that. You think you can get Juliana back this week? Um, not so much a push for this week, and she's, she's a competitor. I mean, she knows what it's like to be in the SEC. She doesn't need to compete a bunch of times in preparation for that. Um, she's real sore. Calf mother's mu muscle is real sore, and we just have to have to nurture it and nurse it along. And uh, she'll be she'll be if not for SEC, she'll be 100% by regionals. To get um, Gracie uh, the endowed scholarship, so just kind of can you talk about what went into that and what it means for the program? Well, I think what, it, what went into it was the, the love that uh, that family has, has shown this team and the, the love that this team has, has shown to Gracie and just the outpouring. And Tiger Athletic Foundation, you know, wants to help us with this and make this happen. And we're, you know, going to have a real push out there to get a lot of small donations and hopefully some big donations and uh, get that baby's name on that board where it will be there forever and ever. Yeah, that was going to be my follow-up. How cool would that be that she'll now be a part of the program? Forever, yeah, it's it's pretty cool. And I was talking to to Lexi about it, and you know, this, that that child knew what her future was and how short her little life was going to be. And she told Lexi all the time how much she loved her and she's going to miss her. So you know, when you have that kind of of memory, that kind of emotion tied to to a just a a child, um, to be able to give her a championship ring and to be able to have her name on the wall here and that that memory will carry forever. It's it's very gratifying. Um, we are about to start working on our last one. We have 12. We, our, our goal, our initial goal was to get 12 and then start over. So this is uh, the one for Gracie? Will be, will make the it? one for Gracie, I think, will be the 12th one. And, and how, how big of, you know, obviously this place has been a, was a huge goal. How, how big a goal has this been? How long has it taken? We started talking about this about four years ago. And uh, start, you know, if you talk about something enough and then act upon it, It'll happen, and um, that was the dream come true about this facility. And we started talking about wanting to endow our scholarships, and um, we just started working on it. And you know, some friends and fans and boosters, and then some people have endowed them that uh, want to remain anonymous. So uh, it's it's been really gratifying. It's like every time you get one, it's like hitting hitting a ten. Yeah. Heading into SEC. So, are you looking for anything specific from maybe girls we haven't seen um, compete uh, so much throughout the season? Is there any one? I would like to get Sarah Edwards, give her an opportunity to compete on floor. You know, I'd really like to do that in Tucson. I don't think that's going to happen, but um, like you said, if I talk about it enough and if we work in that direction, um, and she's, she's just got a great floor routine and a great floor presence, and um, we would really, really be great if, if that could happen. Uh, Juliana, I don't think that's going to happen just because of the nature of, of what we're trying to get out of that calf muscle and get her back 100%, so we've got some, some vaulting. So, the, you know, we're kind of limited as to what we can do because of the time frame that we have to do it in. Who 
the way this season's kind of played out, it's kind of like an yeah. trajectory. Well, it's only been a little more like this. <laughs> yeah. Has it kept you on your toes as a coach? Kind of Absolutely. It yeah, it's kept, the, it's kept the edge on all of us, you know, and um, – you know, when, when these kinds of seasons and this, these situations present themselves, um, I really think that the people around me have, have done the best job they've ever done because it's been the hardest. Do you, th do you think in a season like this it requires more from the coaches, more teaching moments? Yeah, it does, and um, more patient moments, and I'm, I'm, I'm not real patient. And um, so it, it does. It, it requires a, a whole lot of, of, of better planning and stretching yourself out and making every practice. The, the little minute details have to be polished and uh, you know that the kids are ready and you'll have them ready on Friday and you don't have to do the, do the numbers that we've done in the past. We're doing more mental preparation and polishing the, the little things that are going to make us better by SECs, regionals, and nationals. You talked about mental toughness with Kennedy. It also seems like anytime Ruby has a break, she comes back automatically with a 9 9 error or something like that. Ooh, knock on wood, you just Not jinxed us. <laughs> you might have just jinxed us. No, I mean, that's, that's, that's tough. And, you know, it, they have the mentality, and, and we ask them to have the mentality if, if there is a break, it stops right now, and I move forward. And I think we saw some of that on Friday night, and uh, the score indicated just how good this team is and, and what they're going to able to will be able to accomplish moving into the postseason. You, um, you haven't done many um, exhibitions. Exhibition generals this year. Well, well you, you know, know anytime we're anytime we're on the network, SEC network, we can't. Mm -hmm. And uh, we chose not to do it because it's senior night and we chose not to do it because um, we wanted to end with our, our seniors that anchor those events and we wanted that to be the last performance. Mm -hmm. Might be um, yeah, I might. If, if we're in a situation, I'm, I might uh, let one of my walk-ons do a floor routine because um, we, you know, that's, that's where we're trying to develop some depth right now. Olivia Gunner, I think, is about ready to be able to do that. I'll know today and on, on Wednesday if she's ready on Friday. How many, uh, how many routines worthy of being out there do you leave on the cutting room floor every week? I mean, you're like... You said you'd like to get Sarah Edwards and visit her. You know, last year, last year, we and the year before, we might have had two that we could have put in and, and not, had a, not had a loss. But um, right now, that doesn't exist because, you know, we're, we're having to be so delicate with Lexi Priestman. And, um, you know, so that, that's a question mark that last year was not. She was, I mm -hmm. felt like she was ready to go mm -hmm. and, and the year before. So you just take it. The, the hand you're dealt that year, the cards you have in your hands, which you have to play. And right now, we're six or seven people in each event. Uh, Lexi, you, know, you said on the road you only wanted to do, like, maybe the far. Do you think that'll be the case? Yes, yeah. probably, yeah. So if Lexi and Julianne are both out of the vault, who's going to go in there? Probably um, Bailey will have an opportunity to – to go and do a good job. She went in at Alabama and did a fabulous job for us, and the vault's better now than it was then. So. Does she have a Tim, Timo set ready? Uh huh. Yeah, yeah. And so it's okay. It's a nice feeling when your your backup is a, has a Tim start value in vaulting.